Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Gino and Happy New Year. How is your 2023 going? Mine's going great. It's not even the end of January and I've already made two luxury purchases. Ay ay ay. The first one is going to be what this video is about and the second one will be coming at a later date. Secondly, the last video that I did on this channel was the VIC gifts that I had gotten from Loewe up until that point. And I had said that for Christmas, I actually got nothing. Well, that has changed. I'll insert a B-roll of what the wreath looks like in depth, and I'll do a proper review video of it at the end of this year. But since I'm here, I might as well also show you the candle that I got from them. This is the Juniper Berry scent, and it it is a very strong but very fragrant and floral scent, and I absolutely love it. <laughs> Now let's get into the review portion of this video. Here is the Louis Vuitton Yayoi Kusama Pichette Voyage in the monogram Eclipse, but with uh, white, grey and black dots. Just like all their other Pichette Voyages, this is made of a single piece of canvas, so the uh, monogram goes along the full length of the pochette. The measurements are 27 by 6 by 20 centimeters. Again, this is a neat monogram eclipse. There is black leather used on the sides here and also black leather on the trim. Uh, it is black hardware for the zipper. Zip it all the way. Um, there's also this um, hole, which I don't really know what it's for, but... And on the inside is a black hole, but there is also a patch pocket. Can you see that? There is a patch pocket right there. It's a very generous size. And also six card slots. And... Oh, it's not really coming out very well on the camera, but you'll have to trust me. There is, sil there is a silver uh, embossing there, which looks like this. This is the dust bag for it, but the silver embossing is the pumpkin with Louis Vuitton X Yoyoi Kusama. There was actually two of these in the store, so I was actually able to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the both of them. And not surprisingly, the dots are actually identical between each uh, pochette, even up to those fine brushstroke details. So like, so like you see the um, you see the slight exposure of the canvas on over here. It it appears the exact same way on the other pochette. The like the tiny brushstroke flick, like that you see down here, that was also on the other pochette. So they are like exact duplicates. So there is absolutely no. Um, they're not unique between each bag. So if you get so if you get one yourself, then it will look exactly the same as the one that I have here. Now one of the main questions I had about this collection in general was how were the dots achieved? Like are they just a flat um, single print or is it all hand painted or uh, is every bag unique because it's hand painted? Like what's the deal with the dots? So they are actually all screen printed. It's a special technique that they, um, that Louis Vuitton has used to create a, an actual three-dimensional effect. So I don't know if the camera is picking up very well. Oh, here, here, for example. This, um, this layer is actually composed of, like, it actually has a lot of depth and texture to it. So it's not just a single layer of paint, it actually has a three-dimensional texture to it. So it really does feel like actual brush strokes, even though this is just screen printed. And you can tell how, how fine the screen printing technique is because, like say for this dot here, it, the, um, the, 
brush strokes or the illusion of brush strokes is very, very fine. Now, what can you actually fit in this? Surprisingly a lot. I have in here my umbrella because it has been raining all um, sporadically this week. So I keep my umbrella wrapped up in a plastic bag. And I can actually fit it at the bottom right there. I still have space to add a spare plastic bag when I go shopping. Uh, tissues, keys, and my wallet. However, you could consolidate this even further by putting the things in your wallet inside the um, inside the uh, the card holder that's already in here. So zip it up, and it's all in there. Granted, because it's not. Um, not a, it's not a solid canvas, it like it, it does have a lot of flex to it. So there is slight bulging as you can, just very, very slight. But granted, if you don't overpack your pochette, then you won't, I don't think you'll deform it at all. Also at the bottom, there is no, there is no solid base either. So the, uh, it's the same thickness all around. At first I was on the fence about whether or not I actually liked the um, Yayoi Kusama collection in general, but when you see this in person, like, I actually get it. Like, it actually looks a lot better in person. So if you're on the fence about whether or not you want to get something from this collection, you really should drop by to your local LV store and actually just look at some items for yourself because it actually is quite a unique piece and has really grown on me. I wasn't 100% sure that I wanted it, but once I saw it in the store, I was like, yes, yes, this must come home with me right now. Here's a mod shot of me carrying the pochette. This is really the only way you can carry it, just under the, uh, just under your arm right so. And for comparison, here's my messenger bag and also the monogram Eclipse. And I find that I actually carry both of them. If I have a lot to carry that day, I will use both bags, which I know it's a bit excessive. I could probably just use my puzzle bag instead, but I mean, like, this is just elegant. Now, of course, this is part of the Yoyoi Kusama collection, so they even went all out with the packaging. So this is the bag that I got with it. Very generous size. Um, but if you can see closely, there is actually some texture. There we go. There's a, there is actual texture to the dots here as well. So props to LV for this kind of attention to detail. And on the inside, get the same multicolored dots. And this is the box that my pochette came in. Now, if you are a frequent shopper with LV, then you would actually know that they never do tissue paper but again they went all out with this uh, collection and they actually provided me with some tissue paper so and since i'm here i might as well show you a close-up of the ribbon that i got so around the time i bought this bag it was the lunar new year and my essay was so kind because he gifted me my first ever lv envelope the year of the rabbit, so this is what it looks like. And well, nothing much to see on the inside. But again, attention to detail. And this is the box that the envelopes came in. As you can see, you can open it like so. And on the inside, this is what it looks like. This is a set of eight envelopes, not 10. So, I mean, presentation is everything. In addition to the envelopes, he gifted me this uh, gift tag with a removable card. Like so, also this blank card, which is actually made of cardboard. So it's very thick. And also these two uh, cardboard tags. 
So this is what they look like. And apparently you can actually spray perfume on these and hang, have them hanging in your room and that will sense your entire room. So if you made it this far to the video, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, also follow me on Instagram because I do a lot more foolish things on there. My luxury journey has just begun and I have no idea where it's going to take me. So I hope you have a very lovely 2023 and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.